Welcome back, everybody. You're gonna have to bear with me today. I'm flying solo, so we'll see how this goes without my film crew and my editing division and all my other lovely helpers that are not here today. <laughs> so today we're gonna be scrapping out this uh, Sony Audio Video Control Center um, in hopes to find something good to use to melt in the next video that we're gonna be doing. But as promised, we're gonna be going through the thing to see how much money you could, could make out of it, you know, other than just melting it and putting it on the shelf and things of that nature. Um, but right now, this thing weighs a whopping almost 24 and a half pounds. So if you were to throw it into the shred pile, you're looking at about, mm -mm, depending on your area, you're looking at about $2.16 at $0.09 cents a pound. That's what we're getting for shred around here. So let me get this thing readjusted and set up, and then we'll get into this sucker. Okay, now I've taken all the screws out. We're going to save this top for our final weight. But uh, before we get into this, I do would like to thank... Uh, guys like Chris from Ultimate Recycling, or he's the Ultimate Recycler, <laughs> um, Shark and Row and people like that that has opened up my mind to a greater value that you can get from things. Like Chris from the Ultimate Recycling, I mean, he, he would actually try to fix this and try to sell it first, which that would be the ultimate value that you could get from something out of the garbage. I mean, that's awesome. Shark does awesome spreadsheets. Row does it too. And, uh, but these guys, if you haven't caught their videos, they really get into detail. Cause like Shark, he'll know what all the chips are doing and everything else, what you can make off of that. Um, so does Row, and so does Chris. So um, give me a second here and we are going to get all this stuff out of here and then we'll start seeing what we have. All right, I said I was unsupervised. Now we got Lady Copper down here. So hopefully, am I centered up? Does it look all right? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Hopefully that little uh, Mako speed thing, I think is what they call it. I, I hope that uh, went well. But um, first thing we talk about is this big old aluminum heat sink. Now I don't know if we're gonna be using this to the next video, but you will most likely see this in the near future but uh not sure about that one yet all right now let's talk about all these boards now this was attached to the metal deal now see these chips um people do go after those chips and then the crystal oscillator people go after there might be some other bits but i've said in the past that's not my it's not my bag knowing all that stuff so um the yard I go to, it'd just be low grade. Same with this little connector thing. Now, I think somebody said these might be gold plated, but I'm not sure. Oh, so that's low grade now, but this one, this one here, is that centered up good in there? Um, down just a little, right there. Yeah, this, this one here, now I'm probably gonna be sending a picture to somebody for this. This one might actually be worth a little bit if I take all these little, plastic things off and what have you but we'll see i'm gonna sit this one off to the side for now um like these things all this stuff here low grade for me low grade wire same here we there's a motor right here on this so we'll probably get that out this one has a transformer on it and it has this little fuse which i've told you in the past i save for guys that do the silver recovery. I don't do it, but 
they like it, so I'm going to hold that one out. This one, let's see here. Yeah, nope, but I will be getting these, these little copper coils here. <laughs> of course we're taking that. <laughs> But still a low grade board at the end of the day here. Mm -hmm. This, I don't see, and I get some of these pins sometimes will be gold plated, but I don't see it on those. So that's low grade of me. This one, like I said here, um, somebody, you know, they might want to take these chips right here I'm not sure. This one with all the MOSFETs on it and stuff, these are copper if you go after stuff like that. Um, oh, here we go again. See, other guys get excited about the chips. I get excited about the copper. So, definitely taking all that. chips more doodads no great stuff to me all right so now this one here yeah this one i mean they got chips on them and stuff i might start pulling them throw them in a bucket i don't know i board starts at a certain pound i think for those but uh i'm not sure i'm down that road yet okay so got some screws now, this is uh, this is what I was mostly going after. This huge old transformer. It's gonna bring us some copper for once. So, and then oh, look at this little board. So got I oh, lost one. <laughs> got some more fuses on it. But I'm gonna set that aside. We'll make O speed that sucker, and then get this one off because mm -hmm. I'll be getting the stuff out of this one too giggle if you want I know it's a little one but it's coming with me so now we got that stuff mixed up and we'll get a weight on uh, all the all the low grade stuff we're gonna have weights for everything because remember we started this out with two dollars and 16 cent profit Somebody already cut the cord off of it, and I am not a uh, electronic repair man, so the next good step for me is to scrap it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. They just hit them suckers on that weld. All right. Sorry for my excitement, because uh, I need a bigger hammer. Um, haven't got a copper transformer in seems like forever. So. Mm -hmm -hmm. Da -da -da -da. Now, I'm not the most proficient at this. I don't get to do these every I don't every so often I get to do one of these. Not like the other lucky guys. <laughs> there we go. Now, th these little ones, I just take the chisel and I cut the copper from the one side. Oh, hell, look at this. <laughs> and cut it and just pull it out the other side. Usually, uh, usually there's a little bit of a fight to it. It doesn't quite come out that easy, but hey, today's my day. Okay, so I had to go off camera for a second and bash the sucker with a with a hammer but um they had two layers of plastic deal in there so but you get this different color um copper always makes me a little nervous but uh i don't know 
Oh, I think it's copper. Come here. Can you see in there? Yeah, that's red, right? Yeah. Hopefully, I have to get out of this Look at all that. About doggone time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the cord cutters didn't get all of the cord. They must not have been that hungry. Well, we're going to strip this and get this, too. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry about the little disaster with the sprawling out the whole transformer, but it was a feeding frenzy. I was excited because it's been a while. It's been a very long time since I got a whole copper transformer. Very excited. But we're looking at two pounds of copper out of that thing. This box is it doesn't weigh well 1.92 we're gonna call it two pounds so that that is good all right so now get that out of the way aluminum heat sink mm -hmm. call it a pound and a half mm -hmm. low grade boards that's three point we're gonna call it three of the box. The low grade wire doesn't even register. But now the steel. What's left over from the steel? Let's see here. We got 14.2 pounds. So we got 10 pounds of pounds. Weird. Call it 14. Alright, low grade. And this was all the plastic that was left over from this thing. Now, um, this is all black. And if you look around, there's a recycle symbol somewhere. It says ABS somewhere. I'm losing. But this will be able to go into the recycling. So actually, the only thing, I don't know. The only thing I got wasted on this was the tears of tearing it apart, I guess. <laughs> but, uh... No, so we're talking 100% recycled on this thing. That's great. It's what we want to see. Nothing in the landfill. Not a thing. The screws, which I saved in the soup can. Shark does a mailbox, which is cool. Um, nothing, nothing is going to go to the landfill off of this. That's awesome. All right. Let's go through some of these totals. Now, we started off with... Uh, Two dollars and sixteen cents if you were just throw it a shred pile, but through the low grade boards, like I said, the the uh, insulated wire that doesn't even register, but it goes into a barrel I got going. Then we got the tin tread that's left over, the aluminum, and the copper, which is the big one. Now these prices are from my scrap yard, and um, can't say it's the same everywhere, but. A half hour's time brought it up to almost ten dollar profit. So, this is like, you know, this is stuff that's just done in your spare time, um, hobby or not, keeping stuff out of the landfill, savings account, whatever you want to do with it. So, uh, I'm I'm actually happy with this one. Um, I was excited because I thought not everything's going to landfill, but the little bit of plastic that was around the transformer, unfortunately, is not recyclable. So that little bit will be going in the garbage unfortunately so but we'll just we'll say 99.8 percent we'll call it <laughs> but it's better than all of it going to the garbage you're talking about resources that we need for infrastructure these cars coming up artwork like i like to do so um like i said i hope uh i hope you guys have been having a good couple of weeks and uh I want to wish you guys, everybody, a happy new year. Thank you for your continued support. Um, even when we can't always make videos and get out there and talk with you guys, man. We really do appreciate everybody. Thank you, guys. And please, have a great week. Thank you.